Good evening, guys. <laughs> it's Amelia Craftsman here. I've been spending the last hour trying to get audio correct and video incorrect and upgrading systems and stuff to record a nice, smooth video for you. As smooth as I can get it. Um, it's actually 5 a.m. for me right now. I <laughs> should have been asleep hours ago. But um, I have work in the morning and... I also have class in the morning, but I have this anxiety where if I don't go to sleep by a certain time, I got to stay up the rest of the night because I don't trust myself to wake up in the morning for my alarm. I have a huge anxiety about it because I believe I'm just going to sleep through my alarm. It's happened before. It's probably going to happen again. So here I am, 5 a.m. in the morning, recording a video and fixing system for you guys. So essentially what this video is going to be about mostly uh, in relation to State of Decay Lone Wolf is we are gonna play I'm gonna make a separate video showcasing all the characters uh, we are gonna play Lone Wolf let me get back on track we're gonna play Lone Wolf and I'm gonna go over some new systems in this version of Lone Wolf compared to the previous version version 1.3 that was out that is no longer available for download or uh, 1.3 is the only one available for download that the difference between this one and 1.5 or 1.3 depending on which version you have because only a select few people have 1.5 due to the Undead Labs forum shutting down. People who downloaded before the forum shut down. Well, for most people they have 1.3 which is still up on the webs. I have not uploaded a link to 1.5. I do not have the download files for 1.5 anymore. So, this video will go over all the differences between this lone wolf, all the systems implemented, all the changes done, what's not in this version, or what's in this version, that 1.3, which I will just use 1.3 as a criteria, what's in it compared to, what's in this version compared to the old version. So this will be lone wolf full release, out of beta, technically it's still in beta right now because I'm still perfecting just the little inches nothing else is being added in the game so we will begin and what better way to start it by starting with a character that's still in the process that I started never finished but it's in the list of things that's getting finished first thing to clear up is I will be showcasing all the new characters in Lone Wolf like Molly we'll actually showcase them here right now I'll show you the characters we won't play them all and I won't show you their traits, but I will just show you how they look on screen. So we have Molly Farrell. She was inspired from Molly Farrell from The Walking Dead with Clementine and Telltale's The Walking Dead. The parkour girl who was like climb buildings and ring bells. Yeah, well, I got inspired to make her in the game, so she's added into the game. We have Amelia Craftsman, which is Amelia Craftsman. She is different though. Um, we have sisters right here. These are my favorites. These are Abby Shears, Jenna Shears, and Amber Shears. They are essentially sisters. We'll go into details later with them. Um, we have Jade Aldemir, which I don't if you play Dying Light, which you probably have. She is one of the main characters in Dying Light. I like Dying Light a lot, so I decided I will bring in Jade Aldemir. We have Aveline Archer, which is um, used to be Faith Archer in um, the regular breakdown. Uh, she always had a name Faith in the game, and so I wanted to add her as Aveline Archer. Or her last name was always Archer, or something along those lines. But anyways, customized, made, and edited. Um, we also have Stephanie Davis, which is the character you can for playing Lone Wolf. We have what a lot of people were excited about, Lily Ritter, completely voiced and everything. Um, this is the new character we will be playing as today. This is Eleanor Seist. We'll go over her details in a second, but she's got she has a gas mask like Walter. You I would change her face sprite, but adding in custom face sprites is pretty difficult. At least for me, I didn't find a way to do it. I didn't find anything online to do it. So for right now, she has Walter Degrassi's face sprite. Then we have uh, my favorite character I made, Skyla Diviniti. She's by far my favorite character, badass character, sick character. I am excited. I've, I've shown it to you in a previous video, but I will go in detail of all the characters 
in a separate video. This is another character inspired farm, another medium. This is Frankie Doyle from a series called Wentworth. She's a criminal, she is a fugitive. Escape from prison, pretty cool. I like it, I enjoy it, I hope you guys. Um, and this is my second favorite character, Zelda Heinvel. She's an assassin. She's an assassin. And she has one of the coolest outfits in the game for me personally that I think's fucking badass. So, um, as I got my excitement, by the way. Also, this is the biggest thing. Um, you're probably wondering, where are the rest of the heroes for Breakdown? Well, um, I thought about that. And they're still here. For anybody still wanting to get um, Gurabini or other characters like Walter Degrassi, you can still access them. You have to... Okay, let me see how to word this. So to access them, you see how I'm moving left and right using the um, select buttons. Well, if you keep going right, 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 and then you go right again, right after this last character, it goes to the next characters. Download. You cannot see them, unfortunately. Um, Undead Labs designed this to fit only a certain amount of characters, and they designed it well, but for me... I couldn't find a way to fit them all on screen. So for now, with the bonus here, is you just have to scroll. So we have Gurbini Carl, and most of these people know, everyone really knows what they look like, so I wanted to go ahead and just add them. So anyways, I want to get that out of the way for people who question that. You can access the other heroes, you just have to go down and scroll past the menu. It can be a little confusing, you don't get to see their face montages, my apologies for that, but uh, I I created a shit ton of female characters. Um, I wanted to add a couple male characters, didn't get around to adding male characters, and at this point in Lone Wolf 1 point, or of, in this point of Lone Wolf will release, from this point on, I'm not adding any more content to the game. Everything that's being done in the game now is refinement bug fixing squashing bugs and getting a working feasible stable product with no game breaking bugs everything makes sense things work properly how they should that's what's being worked on now so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and show you Eleanor Sice I will give you the acknowledgement she is not a completed character yet she's the only in work character right now Faith has one aspect that just needs fixed with her, and that's it's a really quick fix. But the rest of these characters are fully voiced and they're in game voices, but uh, they have full lines and everything. And some of them have custom lines and stuff for personality. I made oh, I forgot one character Avery Gems. She's a military girl. Um, nothing really else to say. She was like the first character I made, anyways. She Eleanor, which we will start playing as. She's not a completely done character. Her model still needs some refinements. It's on the list of refinements to make. She is one of my favorite characters. Um, she actually one of her uh, skills is she's gonna have cancer. So she has cancer. She has a gas mech though, and she works. So Eleanor Sice, she works for the CDC. Eleanor Skys. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I really don't know how to pronounce this, but she is a problem solver. She was an army medic. She has a gas mask because so she cannot be. She's immune to bloater gas. Uh, she's not immune to screamers, though. Screamers will affect her. Bloater gas will not affect her. She worked at a CDC, um, so she's going to have the traits to work on chemicals and create a lot of things in your workshop. So she's going to be a chemist. She's terrified of the infected. A deep terror for the infected keep her on her toes every day. She has to fight them off. Alas, she'll never truly get over the fears within. So um, she's terrified. Absolutely terrified. So her description is a very successful and well-known chemist who worked with big corps. She became part of the CDC members who worked on finding a cure to little success. So she already has the chemist trait and she already has the medical trait. 
I believe the CDC where it comes with the chemistry. So yes, yeah, she's a chemist. So what is special about this character? Well, two interesting things about this character when I was working. For some reason, I can't have her character to have color. Except for her skin. Her clothing and everything, I could not get to um, get color. Uh, I think it might have something to do with her gas mask. I don't understand why, but we won't go into detail of that. Let me turn um, voice lines a little lower because it gets annoying. So, another thing about Lone Wolf you're going to want to know when you start a game, even on the old versions and the new version, I, they, they share this trait. You can stack up to five snacks depending if you're... Um, if you're powerhouse you used to be able to stack four with new lone wolf you can stack six if you're not if you're not powerhouse you can stack six if you are you can stack eight um unfortunately you can't do it until you exit the game and re-enter i don't understand how this works but what it does it allows after you reset that you quit the game and re-enter it allows you to stack items to overstack items to higher numbers. Um, another aspect of Lone Wolf, this is a big question, but when you quit the game and you have a stack greater than five, that entire stack will disappear if you quit the game with a stack higher than eight. So before I ever quit a game, I always get my stacks lower than five. Uh, five or lower. Five would work anything higher than five. If you quit the game with six or seven or eight in a stack, you quit the game, you re-enter, this entire stack of snacks will disappear. So have your stacks to 5 or below. It may be 4, I'm pretty confident it's 5 though. If you have this problem, just go down. I apologize for your lost Twinkies. I love them too. Alright. So we've started the game. We loaded it up. What's the first... I saw that fucking... So the first big difference between this version of Lone Wolf and the previous versions is a lot of new zombie sounds. There have been a significant amount of zombie sounds added compared to the old version to the new version. Significantly, ferals as well have had a large up in their um, sounds. They also had a, a majority of their sounds removed that were from Dead Space that I removed due to them being obnoxiously loud and annoying personally to my taste and me as the creator if I find it annoying well a lot of other people are probably gonna find that annoying as well so when playing oh yeah you get little hints of lone wolf as well we will go into detail about this little message here later curing the plague For right now we're gonna gather supplies <laughs> So I don't know if you noticed there, but Eleanor uh, yelled in fear when she's fighting the infected. This is a special trait added to food. You don't find that often in this game. So Eleanor will grunt in fear when fighting infected. Despite her being immune to bloater gas, as you can, okay, another thing, as you can see, her model right now, let's talk about her model, you see that glitchiness around her head and stuff, that's the refinement that she needs. Her clothing's pretty much going to stay the same here, this is how her clothes are going to look, um, but her mask, the refinement with the model will be done, but the special thing about Eleanor, uh, one of her special features is her trait, terrified of the infected, when she fights infected, she will scream in fear. She does not like fighting. She hates it, in fact. Um, her fighting skill has to actually be lowered. That's on my list of refinements because she avoids fighting. There's no way this girl in the apocalypse has four fighting stars. You guys gotta get this to her. I will admit, it does get a little annoying sometimes, but no, it really doesn't annoy me much at all. Um, hold on. I accidentally... As you can see, I was in God mode. I had to remove God mode. So we have food, and we're returning it back. 
So this is one of the other things about lone, the new Lone Wolf that changed. In the old Lone Wolf, oh, there's a screamer, shit. In the old Lone Wolf, food was really hard to come by. And um, one town, Marshall, the town of Marshall never had food in it. That has been fixed and changed in, a new, in this version of Lone Wolf. You're able to find food in Marshall. I will still admit, the chances of finding food are still low. It is still difficult to find food. You will go through food and you will have trouble finding it. But, I will say that it is possible for food to spawn in Marshall now. I shouldn't, I really shouldn't. I need to hide and specialize my skills. So, we won't use the heavy weapons that she power has. No, she's not. We won't specialize in heavy weapons. That's just an encumberment. So, let's see. What's the best route to take? Another aspect about in Lone Wolf is screamers like this. They will now scream when you um, catch them on fire. When you catch on fire, they would scream and alert other zombies. In actually, in Breakdown, they do scream and they create an audio wave when burning. However, no sound comes out. I just simply added an audio file to go with their burning for that um, audio wave to come through. Okay, so now we gotta locate a home. And I need to get out of this area because this is a really dangerous area. So, so far in version 1.5 that we have, we have compared to the old, in the full version compared to the previous versions, we have new characters, we have refined missions, everything's refined, everything's great. So new characters, refined missions, zombie sounds refined, audios removed, audios added, new audio lines created. We have food spawning in proper places. And music is properly adjusted for the game as well. That was a big problem with the previous version is music would constantly not be, would either be too loud or the song just didn't match the tone of the area. So there has been refinements in music. This is one of my favorite tracks actually. Yeah, this is one of my favorite tracks. I already had to listen to it for a little bit. But, um, mission for, um, music for missions and, uh, stuff going on in game, especially intensity and certain events have been adjusted. There's actually a new event in Lone Wolf where when you're surrounded by, a, when you're in a house sneaking and you're surrounded by a horde of zombies or you're hiding in a bush and there's a ton of zombies around you, there's a new event called Potential Death. And this new event takes into account how much health you have. Oh, I'm not done surveying. What am I doing? It takes into account how much health you have, how many zombies are around you, and what situation you're in. And depending on the parameters, it will play a specific song to go with the uh, grim outlook. Now, it's not that advanced because you can only do so much with uh, modding this game, but I did it to my best ability. It's something I am still refining. It works pretty much good. There really isn't much to fix on. Another aspect added to the new version of Lone Wolf is Pharaohs do more damage. Pharaohs do significantly more damage um, than they did in the previous version of Lone Wolf. Feral pounces will take away a significant, significantly more chunk of your health when pouncing you. Now, 
I want to talk to you guys about one of the new systems I've added to State of Decay Lone Wolf that the previous versions have not included. <laughs> So, this message you guys saw earlier, hearing the plague, you might be asking, what is the plague precisely? Well, the plague in State of Decay Lone Wolf is a new virus I added to the game. In games, for zombie games for example, when you get bit, you say, oh, you get infected. Well, it's similar to that in Lone Wolf, except not every bite infects you with a plague. There's a new virus that can, you get affected when you get bit by a zombie. When you get pounced on by a feral, downed in a horde of zombies, or you get grabbed by a juggernaut, or bit by, um, bit by a zombie where you have to put, knock it off of you, any of those events will infect you with a new virus added in the game. Um, it's just called the, it's called the Requiem Plague. And what it does is it only happens when you get an intense bite on you. Regular bites in combat won't won't infect you. The only bites that will affect you is any bite or grab from a feral that you have to push the zombie off by spamming the B button or push the feral off by spamming the A button or get up from being fallen and spamming the A button as well. Any of those events or even a juggernaut, a juggernaut grabs you, any of those events will infect you with the Requiem Plague. So the Requiem Plague takes away a large portion of your health and your stamina and it progresses. As time goes by, as you play Lone Wolf, the plague will, one second, the plague will devour your health and stamina to almost mini school levels. It takes a, mm, five hours of in-game play for it to go as low as 40 on stamina and around 80 on health 80 or 60 or 40 I'll have to double check but essentially it drains your health and stamina to almost levels where it's impossible to go out without dying and it evolves and it has four stages your beginner stage which doesn't drain that much health and stamina your intermediate stage which drains more your harsh stage and then your almost practically dead stage so it has four intense stages. So you may be asking, how do you survive the Requiem Plague? Well, to survive the Requiem Plague, you need to grab, you need to either do one of two things. You can fight it. You can fight it in your medical area. If you have a medical area supplies and you have meds available, you can fight the Requiem Plague using just those resources. Now, healing and fighting it is two different things. Your chances of success with curing the virus depends on how soon you tackle the cure, how soon you try to fight it, and how how developed the virus is and what stage of the virus you're in. It depends on the stage of the virus and how soon you try to fight the virus. So, if the virus is at stage one, you have the highest possible chance of successfully removing the virus. However, the chances are low with fighting in your medical bag. If you're fighting the virus with meds in your medical area, the virus is tackable and you can successfully remove the virus and, and recover. However, the chances are low. The chances are higher the earlier, the earlier you tackle the virus. The second way you can tackle the virus is through Cleo drops. As you can see from Curing the Plague, Survival is still an option. Combat in the Requiem Plague is easier at early stages. Combat as soon as possible. There are two ways to combat the Requiem Plague. Combating it with medicine in your infirmary. This is doable, however, sex rates are low, especially at later stages. Or combating the plague with suppressant training 79, retrieve. 
So you got to use so the second version, the second way of recovering from the plague is using something called suppressant 79. It's a suppressant designed by Clio. This is my own hypothesis. This is my own theory for the game and my own lore out of the game. But Clio has created suppressant for the virus. Let me go somewhere else. This feral is being obnoxious. So, Suppressant 79 is retrieved only from Cleo Drops. When you go to a Cleo Drop, and you successfully complete a Cleo Drop, it will give you a message saying, Suppressant 79 collected. When you collect the Cleo Drop, uh, when you collect the Suppressant, you can now combat Plague via the Suppressant 29. Use Suppressant 79 to attempt recovery from Plague. Suppressant 79 is collected from Cleo Drops. Rate varies by virus stage. This using the suppressant has a high recovery chance. Now, it's not absolute. You can still unsuccessfully recover from the virus. However, the chances are more than doubled than trying to fight it at your medical area with meds. So method one, at stage one, you have essentially a 50% chance or 60, 40% chance. You have a low but doable chance of combating the virus. When using Suppressant 79, though, from Clear Drop, you have a significantly higher chance of successfully removing the virus. However, not absolute and promise. And again, the sooner you use it, the more effective it is. If you're late in the stage, this is your best hope. I also made the Suppressant in-game because lots of people were not doing Clear Drops because there were a lot of zombies. They were doable, and some people were doing them, but more um, people who were more safety conscious did not do Clio drops because they were risky. And, and in order to drive players, I added a suppressant to there that's a very valuable resource. So that is this, the plague system evolution for Lone Wolf. I will try and make a its own video describing the virus and everything and I will show you how it works. Um, the second aspect to the plague is there's these things called fatigue spikes. When you're infected with the plague as time goes on and your virus um, takes away your health and stamina there's another thing added to the plague called fatigue spikes and what this is is your character will cough and moan and groan during while they're sick with the plague and while they're groaning and coughing they're having these cough attacks these see these aneurysms your character will lose all of their stamina every bit of their stamina will go gone no no bye bye you'll have no stamina for a periodic amount of time and this occurs randomly more often the, the it occurs more the longer you have the virus so I will show you in the video of the plague I will make individual videos for each system in Lone Wolf that have been customized and more intense so essentially your stamina goes to zero randomly in the world while you're fighting while you're running from zombies while you're searching for supplies your character will cough and all their stamina will be disappearing as they're having an attack from the virus uh, from the virus is attacking their immune system and I never really thought about how to word this but yes the virus is attacking their immune system and the periodicness lasts from five seconds all the way up to 30 whole seconds with zero stamina and I will tell you having the virus do this while you're fighting a horde of zombies is almost a death sentence This version of Lone Wolf is significantly harder than the other versions. However, it's not impossible. And I do want to eventually release an easier version, but for now, this is the version I'm happy with, and this is the vision I have for Lone Wolf, so this is what I will be releasing first. So this is essentially a good summary of the plague system. First, AK Lone Wolf.
and that is something that this version has that the other versions don't have. So don't get bit, collect supplies, and collect Cleo drops. You can indeed store suppressants. You can store, I believe for right now, one suppressant. I want to change that where you can store up to three if you get three Cleo drops, but don't get bit and you don't need to use them. So that's essentially the gist of using the plague in State of Decay, uh, Lone Wolf. And that's a big difference that this version has that the previous versions don't. So this message up here in the right, Smart Alley's running. This is a new system that's still, that's working and just needs refinement and all the, the bare bones of it is completed. And now we just get to decorate it, make it look pretty, make it be more fun. But essentially, the big problem in State of Decay in the original Lone Wolf is when you got sub when you got survivors I'm gonna actually collect supplies and search while I talk about this but as you're when you s sorry I got distracted my apologies guys so essentially when you're searching the world in the previous version of Lone Wolf and you get a survivor an ally and they join your group they were practically useless other than eating your food complaining about supplies and never really bringing much stuff home that changes in this version of lone wolf that when you do find a survivor they will indeed collect supplies for you they will not stay at home and just sit at home and complain they will go out and search for supplies they will go out and search for supplies, they'll go away from home, and they'll, you'll get a message saying, doing my fair share, and they will go out and look for supplies. Now, the interesting aspect is, with Lone Wolf and these allies looking out to get supplies, anyone who played Lone Wolf knows that the longer you stay in the world, the higher the zombie density gets. Zombies become more plentiful, more ferals, more juggernauts, more bloaters, creamers, and the zombie density increases from density 1 all the way to multiplying the zombie density all the way up to level 8, which is to level 8, the amount of zombies that would be here would be multiplied by 8 times. So giant hordes, big packs of zombies, the world gets really dangerous once you spend a lot of time in one game without moving to the next map. <coughs> so knowing that, with the allies, the smart allies system I created, when your allies go out to explore the world, they're not just surviving but their survival and the chance oh that is a good gun that was a lucky find hell yeah so when they go out to find supplies they will bring large amounts of supplies they'll find they'll prioritize finding supplies that you need and they will indeed uh, be affected by how dangerous the world is when the zombie density is higher the chances of them getting into trouble are higher when the zombie density is lower, they lower the chances of them getting into trouble. And the more successful they find supplies. The longer you're on the world, the less successful they find supplies. Similar to you, as you search houses, your chances of finding supplies gets lower and lower naturally as there is less and less spots to search. The same deal with the allies. As you, ex The longer you're on a, on, a, on a game, the longer it takes them to find supplies and the more trouble they get into as the world becomes more dangerous. But the next aspect of it is not only does the world get more dangerous, but they also um, get into trouble depending on how good of a survivor they are. Some survivors are really good at staying out of trouble and really good at finding good supplies, while other survivors are not good at battling, not good at staying out of trouble, and are not good at finding supplies. So depending on your survivor, and it's randomized completely, when you get a survivor from home, when you get a survivor and bring them home, their 
ability to stay out of trouble and their ability to find good supplies, the the um, parameter for them is randomized. So you can have a survivor that's good at finding supplies, but bad at at fighting and bad at staying out of trouble. But you can also get a survivor that's good at staying out of trouble and good at finding good supplies, or a survivor that's really sneaky and never gets into trouble, but never find supplies because they're not good at searching or they don't search in the right places so that's how this uh, smart alley system is set up um, you will have missions similar to distraction missions you will have missions where emergency missions where when they get in trouble um, you will have to rescue them on the spot or there's a chance of death when they get into big trouble and you need to go rescue them, it's one of those missions where the moment it pings, the mission shows up on the map, it, your map automatically pings because it's an urgent message. And depending on how dangerous the world is, their chance of survival is dependent on that. When the map is higher zombie density and there's a lot of zombies and you've been on the map for a while, oh shoot, I'm on the I'm gonna go continue finding supplies to do this. Well, as you are finding some, as as the world gets more dangerous and they get into trouble, their chances of survival due to how dangerous the world is during that mission when they get in trouble is significantly less than if they got in trouble at the beginning of the game. So the missions I wanted to be based on reality. I didn't want the um. I didn't want their chances of death being relatively low when the danger in the world was pretty high. And I didn't want the chances of them dying really high when there's not a lot of the world isn't the dangerous as dangerous as it could be at the time. So the the amount they get in trouble and the chances of them dying or going missing are dependent on how dangerous the world is. The world, the zombie density, is dependent. The zombie density level one as you can see up there. So that's another system added to the newest version of Lone Wolf. Is the Smart Alley system. Okay. There's a reminder for the rec room. So for the rest of the period of this game, I will mostly just be focusing on my place right now. Oh yeah, Pharaoh was a uh, hiss now, so that's the thing. I actually just got bit there, and this is how the virus affects you. stage one you have minus 40% fatality that's your health minus 40 health and as you can see infected it was when I got down there from that zombie that it infected me so now I can play and show you guys precisely just how this virus works So I've been bit, and now the virus will begin to pro progress. Thank you. 
some more changes that this version of Lone Wolf had compared to the old version of Lone Wolf is I don't know if you heard it earlier but the siren there's a big air horn siren that plays now in Marshall and it plays not very often it's it's a rare occurrence but it will play and it is loud it does not affect zombie hordes zombies do not come shambling towards it I wanted it to happen but I was not able to get that working um, another thing added to Lone Wolf this version that the other versions don't have is when you are uh, of course there's a horde of zombies Blaine's grocery center right there the grocery center the grocery store in the middle of Marshall it now and this was actually displayed in one of my previous videos it now has intercoms and these intercoms have been broken since the beginning of the apocalypse they are glitched out some of them will repeat some of them will glitch out and make creepy sounds I need to bring the supplies back home. But these intercoms are now added to the newest version of Lone Wolf that the old versions did not have. Yo, this is going to be a great video, and we got a clear drop, so I can show you the suppressing 79. Now, it ain't going to be easy, because I, I'm not built up at all, I don't have the supplies, but we also have zombie density low, so the supply, the chances of an extreme danger is low compared to a higher level, and a clear drop isn't even in that bad of a location. So, lucky for you guys, you get to watch me save a survivor, and collect a Clio drop and to showcase Suppressor 79 and how the virus system works and how you can heal. Now maybe I won't heal, um, but I will show you the supplies. Clio drops now by default will give you a bonus to all of your supplies as well. Not only will you get the supply caches within the, the search, but even if you collect no caches from the supply drop, um, you will gain a bonus to your food, stamina, fuel, and ammo. All of your resources will get a bonus to them.
guys this is future amelia craftsman tuning in to let you guys know that i had some errors with recording and so the rest of the footage is not going to be able to be shown however i do want to say um thank you for checking this out and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will be uploading more videos about system specifics and i want to also record a full playthrough of lone wolf when everything is once and running thank you for watching and like this video and share to lone wolf get more traction